Hey, welcome back. Van here. Throughout my time of making beef jerky, I've always liked trying other people's beef jerky. So what I did was I got on the internet and I looked up the world's best beef jerky. And every time I did, Doc's beef jerky came up. So I'm going to make some today. Okay, so this is all recipes. It's Doc's best beef jerky. And he says, I've been making jerky for years. This is my favorite recipe concocted by trial and error. Everyone who tries it says it's the best beef jerky they've ever had. Now, what I found on my own end about making beef jerky is people will try your recipe, but they don't do it right. They say, oh, I want to add a whole lot more of everything. So, so this is exactly what his recipe is. He calls for two pounds of round steak. Round steak is either uh, eye round, top round, bottom round. This right here, is bottom round cut up a stir fry it works really great it's thin it's going to dehydrate fast next thing it calls for is a fourth of a cup of soy sauce everything that's used in this video will be in the video description down below if you want to pick anything up two tablespoons of Worcestershire what's this here sauce two tablespoons of liquid smoke two tablespoons of brown sugar and this right here has two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a teaspoon of meat tenderizer, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of paprika. And when you go to buy your ingredients, don't be mistaken and get garlic salt and onion salt. You want powder. And the reason why I say that is if you get too much salts, you've got too much salts. <laughs> If that makes any sense. You don't want too much sauce. Now this doesn't look like a whole lot of marinade to me, but it's gonna marinate two pounds of meat. If you don't have one of these for mixing up stuff, it is awesome. Normally myself, if you've seen my other videos, I use a Ninja. But when I got to looking at this recipe, I was like, that's not enough stuff to even put in the Ninja. So I'm not even going to try it. Next he says to take and put all this in a large bowl and cover it in marinade. Put it in the refrigerator overnight. Myself, I like to put my marinade in the refrigerator and let it sit for 8 hours before I ever even use it. Let's go ahead and pour this in here. So we can put each piece in and get it in the marinade. If you've ever tried this recipe right here, leave a comment in the comment section down below. If there's a recipe that you would like for me to try out on my YouTube channel, send it to me. My email address is in the uh, video description down below. Send it to me and I'll be more than glad to do your recipe on my YouTube channel and let's see how it turns out. All right, we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for eight hours. Look how good that covered right there. That was perfect amount of marinade. Sit in the refrigerator for eight hours and we'll put it in the dehydrator. Let's turn this thing on. I'm gonna set the temperature. I'm gonna set the time. I always just set it to the highest and the longest. Let's take a look in there. All right, this is the beginning of it. Now we're gonna come back in three to four hours. Alrighty, getting this out of here. The only thing left to do now is just throw it in the oven. 275, 10 to 15 minutes, and it'll be done. All right. Let's give it a try. Look at that. Would you just look at that? Doc's beef jerky recipe turned out to be so great. So what I get right here off the bat is it's mild. It doesn't have an overbearing salt taste to it. Got a little hint of brown sugar to it. It's good. Y'all use the comment section down below. Tell me your recipe or you can use my email address and send it to me. But I'm liking this. I'll make your recipe and give you a shout out in the video. But this is good. This is good. I'm digging it. 
world's famous number one best beef jerky recipe in the world y'all thanks for stopping by thanks for watching you have a good one now and you come back